Hey everybody, Nick over here at Randy's. Getting ready to tear into this new 10R. Let's see what the differences are between this and the new 10L. If you guys are wanting to sit through this video, let's get started. Alrighty, and as we start getting things off here, first thing we're gonna go ahead and notice is uh, we got ourselves a plastic pan. I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll keep going through this forward and we'll see. Don't mind the guts that are gonna spill all out over the place, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna go in here into the valve body. Notice that filter's twice the size of what a Chevy's would be in the 10L. Pumps on the opposite side of the transmission, although it does look identical on the opposite side. And you get to taking off the valve body. This was my first oh shit moment and realized I don't have any Torx Plus sockets here, so don't go ahead and make that mistake I made. And we're gonna get all these electrical connections off here and out of the way, pull the valve body out, which looks entirely different to me from the Chevy. First thing we're gonna notice right here is we got our fluid transfer block, which goes directly to the stator on this Ford. Our Chevy does not, it transfers it through the case, as in we're different here with our connector going through the side of the case instead of the rear like the Chevy does. And after that, go ahead and get our detent and other little parts out of our way. As far as the harness goes, we're gonna get over here to the pump. First thing we're gonna notice is it's entirely different. Allison likes to press it out with two bolts, pulls itself right out. I had to go grab my nifty little puller tool here to get it out. Pump gear, twice the size of the Allison. And as we start to get into this transmission, we're gonna notice the first set of clutch packs we got here has a wavy snap ring in between each still, like Ford's trying to stop dragging clutches. That might be a good idea, who knows. Go ahead and pull this big drum out of here. And look at that. It's time for a crane. I'm not breaking my back no more. Hey, Randy. And as we go ahead and get this bad boy back over to my bench, we're gonna go ahead and start looking at what the differences are gonna be between the 10L and the 10R on the drum. As soon as we start cracking her open i'm gonna notice the gear train is just slightly different not much almost couldn't tell none of it's interchangeable for sure but you can totally tell two different companies took one design and made it their own as we start getting into the drum you'll notice these teeth right here on the f clutches right here's the ford they got some beefy material to them versus the chevy where we got nice little thin material and you can see it kind of actually eating into the drum itself and as we keep looking at it for differences you're going to go ahead and notice now the top one the ford is anodized which our lower sprite can chevy one is definitely not anodized i wonder if that has to do with strength i'm pretty sure it does our gear train in the back different teeth count different lengths but for the most part as you can see it all it all kind of looks the same and we're going to go ahead and pull the triple clutch housing off the shaft here looks identical to the chevy Heavy. Gonna go ahead and pull these D clutches out. Looks like they got some slip to them. Possible corporate for my fourth gear incorrect ratio code. And these would be the F clutches, the ones that dig into the drums on the Chevys. We're gonna take a look at the differences here. First off, we're gonna be able to notice they have a lot more friction material on that surface than we do on the Chevys, which are up top right there. And then the big thing is the amount of a uh, gap in those teeth to accommodate the drum. A stronger drum okay now we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves over to the e-clutch hub still attached to our input shaft as soon as i get in here i notice this uh thrust washer we got you know those always worked before i wonder why chevy had to go to all torrington bearings i wonder so we're gonna go ahead and start getting all these parts out of my way still looks the same for the most part as chevy besides that thrust washer and now next we're gonna start by getting this uh, e-clutch hub off the shaft and pressing it out first thing i'm gonna notice is this top apply piston is actually still unlike the aluminum one in the chevy as i get it over here onto my bench i'm gonna notice real quick all these clutches look just fine which normally out of all the Allisons I pulled apart, you can tell they're, they're pretty fried. This is a common problem. They sell aftermarket hubs for this already, but these clutches just look beautiful. So this is going to conclude our Ford 10R versus our GM 10L video. My uh, comparisons and conclusions on this is going to be the 10R is gonna be a stout transmission. The 10L is going to be the new 68. We're gonna have to get ready for that workload. And I just thank you guys for watching the video with us. And I would like to remind you that we have our dyno event coming up May 6th. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you soon.